so welcome to a very special episode of the Deloitte Women's Premier League show and as you all can see today it's a very different backdrop. It is of course the FAS Awards night and we're here to honour both women's and men's football but behind you of course is the trophy that all the players in Deloitte WPL have been gearing up for and of course the winners this year are Lion City Sailors. But of course let's hear from all winners of tonight's awards. And I'm here now with the play of the year, Kitahara Kana from Alvarez Singata. Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> Firstly, how are you feeling about winning this award? あ、すごく嬉しく思います And also, what do you think of your experience at Alvarez Singata? I mean, you joined this year. Everybody talked about you saying, wow, what a great player. So what is your experience like playing for Alberex? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
the public will always say mean things to us but we never stop and we never back down and we will continue to train harder for the next campaign like it never brings us down like our morale are still high and I appreciate my teammates for that and like it's something my seniors taught me lah, like don't care what the public, ha public has to say we know what we have done and that, that's what matters yeah Awesome, and do you have a message to all your teammates and your friends out there and also anybody who has helped you in this journey? Um, I would just like to say thank you to my parents, firstly, uh, for all the support they have given me since the first time I played football, which was seven years old. Um, and then I would like to thank my teammates that I've, like from the different different teams that I've played from, for GDT, uh, Haogang, Sajabaga now. And I would also like to thank um, my coaches, the different coaches that have guided me along the way from when I started football. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, Dania. And also, one more thing. Also, what would you like to see in the Deloitte Women's Premier League next season? Um, I would say I would like to see a bit more um, equality in terms of men's and women's. I feel like the WPLE is up and coming, and I think that we deserve like better field grounds, um, better opportunities, and like yeah, I feel like we deserve so much better. And there's so much things that can be changed. But I understand like this year has improved a lot. Like the league has like has been a bit more professionalized but I think there's so much more that can be done like it doesn't stop here yeah and I'm here now of course with the Deloitte women's coach of the year Shian from Lion City Sailors congratulations Shian firstly can I get your thoughts and your emotions you know about winning it for the second year in a row yeah this year is really special because we went through a very hard year um, compared to last year I thought this was the one that we really had to fight for and so I'm very proud of all the players and the team for winning the champions this year. So what's different? You, you mentioned like this year is a little bit difficult. What was different? Was it the squad depth, the injuries? Or what, yeah. what was it? Definitely the squad depth. So we were missing so many players and everybody had to fight through the games. Yeah, so that was difficult. What are you hoping from next season? I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously your squad is behind. Like, what are you hoping for, for next, uh, to achieve with the team next season? Um, first, I hope the team will be able to get stronger and uh, we are aiming to play in the Asian Championships for the women, so I think everybody's mind is on that. And yeah. what's special about this sailor side for you this year? This year, um, we had very few players and uh, we've had some core players leave us in the middle of the season. So the young girls came in and they did really well for the team. And what are you hoping, you know, in general from the league next season when Deloitte Women's League, I know, resumes? As obviously, you guys are champions, but what would you like to achieve or what would you like to see in general? I just hope the players can stay in the team and <laughs> fight again. Yeah. Okay, do you have a message for all of them? Uh, let's aim to go for the Asian Championships. Let's not get invited. Yes. <laughs> And it's been an exciting Deloitte Women's Premier League season, so let's have a look now at highlights from the final week of action.
uh, feeling good. I mean, I'm proud with the team. As you know, this season is not easy for all of us uh, because we have a lot of challenge, uh, challenges in between uh, with uh, injury players and at the same time we have uh, scholarship uh, players that in uh, Spain and US. Yeah, but kudos to my teammate. Uh, we follow the game plan and we go through all the obstacles together uh, during this tough time. And yeah, unbeaten. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Do you have a message to all the fans? You know, LCS have had fans coming out. I think the only club in Singapore. Any message to them? Oh my God, I, I would like to say thank you so much. They never fail to turn up for all our matches. And every year they will give us a sweet uh, little gift for all of the players uh, at the end of the season. I think it is uh, very nice of them to keep on supporting us yeah i hope and i hope that they can continue this uh, till next year yeah and last okay. question sorry what are you mm. hoping for next season next season um will be i think we just hope for the best lah for our okay. team and if possible yeah hope to carry this trophy again yeah but again let me see how it goes yeah Beat, congrats on winning. How are you feeling? Thank you very much. Uh, of course, really excited. Um, this season has been pretty tough, uh, especially uh, mid-season. Um, starting from mid-season because we lost a lot of players, you know, due to various uh, reasons. But, um, you know, coach always had a plan and everyone always stuck to it. Um, and, and it's really a team effort. Um, and so, pretty sweet. Yeah. What do you have to say about the fans who come down to your game? Because I think you're the only club in Singapore with this unique women's club with the unique fan atmosphere. Do you want to have a message for them as well? Um, it's really, really nice to have them uh, around. Like previously, you know, um, in the past, it was always very quiet. But um, with them, their support at the stadium um, and off the stadium, like uh, social media, to have them is a uh, is really nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, we uh, appreciate their support. Yeah. James, rate the season this year for Deloitte and also the Women's Premier League. Yeah, it's been nice to see uh, second season more competitive than the first season. Obviously more teams coming into the league as well with people like Police and Geylang. Uh, and some good players coming into the league as well that we haven't seen before. Uh, nice to see competition. Ultimately though, uh, another invincible season for Lion City Sailors. So really, congratulations to them. They really keep the bar so high. Yeah. And Eloy obviously have sponsored the Women's League now for sec for two years. Yeah. So what's like the future going to look like for you guys and, and in terms of support for women's football here? Well, we're sponsoring again. Uh, for, so we when we signed up, we said three years option to go another two. At the moment, we're very, very supportive. We're very excited about the future here. There's obviously still some things that uh, FAS is still trying to work through as part of Unleash the Raw and the development of women's football and there's uh, still always improvements that can be made to the game but ultimately it's been another step forward in the second year and I'm hoping year three will be another step forward again. And Deloitte as an organization has you know helped as well the women's sphere in terms of hiring some of the players so are you guys hoping to do that as well in the future? Are we going to see more women's players Perhaps. Yeah, we had a we had a couple out here today. We had Beat and Goal and yep. and Moon at the back, as well as a lot of our alumni uh, on the LCS team. People like Venetia and and Hui Sin yep. and others. Um, we would like to. Um, you know, sometimes it's about being the right organization and the right job for the people as well. It's it's not a job for job's sake. So uh, the people have to be. Uh, have the right profile, we have to have the right opportunity, but we're always ready and willing to hire people because we believe that athletes have a slightly different DNA. They have that resilience, they have that ability perhaps to think strategically in a, in a game situation, they have teamwork obviously, discipline, and those are all values that we, we really prize at Deloitte. And looking ahead, what are you, you know, looking forward to for the next season of the Delight Women's Premier League? Ooh, okay, maybe bringing in some English Premier League <laughs> stars or something. Can we, can we do that? Can we, can we get Mary Earps in goal to give beat a bit of competition here or something? I no, no I, I think honestly, I think the most important thing for me is we still got to keep connecting with the fans. Um, I think Cho Chu Kang, we've been a little bit far out this season. If I compare the Yishun, obviously there were there were a few more fans there. Um, the media coverage though has still been good, obviously the, the magazine show that you do is doing very well still, but I'd really love to just get more fans in the stands for the games um, and possibly look at how we can do some double headers, you know, if you've got LCS playing, can the women play before the men so that the fans can go to both games because we have evenings like tonight where you had the men's team and the women's team playing at, at the same time. I think those are some of the things we can iron out because ultimately the only way that we'll get more girls playing the game is if more girls are watching the game, coming to the games, seeing these heroes, seeing these role models play.
amazing season in the Deloitte Women's Premier League. Congratulations, of course, to Lion City Sailors, as well as all the winners of the individual awards. Women's football is not possible in Singapore without the support of Deloitte. So thank you very much. Now, of course, do continue to support women's football and also the magazine show next season. I'm Ash, and I'll see you guys next time.